So we're here with Fraser Brown, who is basically the producer of this film, and it's his feature, uh, debut feature film. And um, look, Fraser, you are no uh, stranger to TV and film in New Zealand. In fact, I would argue that you are a multi-talented, multi-skilled individual, having a BCom degree as well as an, sort of an acting degree as well, and then getting in front of camera and now behind camera. How did those sort of two almost career trajectories get you to this point? Uh, I'm just greedy, clearly. I just want everything. <laughs> That's what I learned from the big com, just be greedy. No, that's, um, I don't know, it's, I sort of, um, acting was my, was a passion that I never, didn't, I didn't really have the balls to follow until after I went and got a commerce degree and thought that I needed to make a lot of money to be happy and then realised that I, those two things were pulling at each other and I thought, you know what, I need, I should follow my passion. So I did, I went to drama school and, you know, and, and I fell in love with, with, with that and, um, and then it came full circle and I've ended up doing both. I wanted to sort of control my destiny a bit more and, you know, and, and um, that, that sort of led me to producing and then naturally that sort of, I'm, and now I, I'm able to combine the two things and I find that the creative side makes me a better producer. Obviously the, the, the business knowledge I have, you know, I don't know whether that makes me a better actor, but um, I don't know, the combination <laughs> is kind of working, you know. So now look, it's... It's, it's no secret that orphans and, and kingdoms uh, went through a micro-budgeting uh, sort of methodology to get this uh, off the ground and to get it to where it is today, you know, after wrapping in, in 2014. Now, how much of an influence did your BCom knowledge uh, have to, to get effectively this poster up behind you and, this, and, the, and the film on screen? Um, <clears throat> wow, I, I, a lot, I guess, yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. We've certainly, yeah, we've certainly been banging on about the fact that it's a micro-budget film for a long time. And I guess that was <clears throat> part of the deal, is that we knew that we, that 250 grand wasn't enough to make this film, and, and uh, or the film that we wanted to make in the way that we wanted to make it. And so we always knew that we wanted to raise some more money and kind of do it, you know, as big and as and as properly as we as we could. Um, and so part of that is... is you know, going out to the community and saying, hey, this is what we're doing, we need your help, be that sponsors like Sea Link and Juicy and, and um, you know, Oyster Inn and the whole raft of them, to funding partners like, you know, Flying Fish and Random Films and, of course, the Film Commission. Um, and then, you know, and then, and then broadening that out and going and asking the community through crowdfunding for, yes. for uh, you know, for their help. And I'm really proud of what, what our team did on that. You know, we really embraced it we wanted to take some risks and try some new stuff and you know make this film in a, in a perhaps a slightly different way and 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 I feel like we've we achieved that you know it was it was hard work but the communities from Waiheke to, to the filmmaking community to the our sponsor community they really rallied around to the to the crowdfunding communities they really rallied around and you know it's I, I'm so proud well, the result is absolutely excellent, and you have every right to be proud because just last year, Anchorage Film Festival, Alaska, you won. Tell us about that. Yeah, no, that was um, that was a big win. So we won Best Feature Film at Anchorage last year, December last year, and it, you know, it's um, it, it was a long time coming. The truth is, it was you know this the way that we we recut the film. We screened here in in Auckland at the at the Auckland uh, New Zealand Festival, and we recut the film, and then we so we missed a lot of festival international festivals because of that timing, and so anyway, it took a long time for us to get international festival traction, and then you know it was only late last year, and suddenly we picked up, and then the ball started rolling, and we had two or three festivals in quick succession, yep. and then the prize at Anchorage it couldn't have come at a better time, you know, and we so it changes the ballpark because then you've got. We've been banging on about this film for years, saying it's really good, you should be proud of it, come and see it, but it's, you need endorsement from someone yes. else because it's, yeah. you know, of course we have to say that. And then, you know, and then a couple of other awards since then, and then a big, you know, four-star review in the last couple of days from the listener. Yeah. You know. The NZ listener gave it four out of five. I mean, how often does that happen? Well, it doesn't happen very often, to be honest, and it's, 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 it's really important any time, but, but the listener's a, a great publication, and the review is really beautiful. It's really, it's really great. So, and that is, for a film like us, we don't have a big marketing budget. In fact, we're self-releasing it, so it's, it's our money. Uh, that's partly what this screening's about. It's about raising a little more money. So a review like that makes all the difference. If that had been a two-star review, ah, the truth is we'd be, in, we'd be in deep shit right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's the sure. fact, you know. Yeah. And how does Eat My Lunch fit into the whole bigger scheme of things? Eat My Lunch is a thematic partnership. Okay. 
So the issues or the themes of this film are, are, are you know, they're, they're clearly, we, we wear our heart on our sleeve in a sense. They're about kids, they're about families, about growing up, they're about the rich, poor gap in New Zealand and eat my lunch. So we were looking for, we've always looked for partners that we felt were aligned with us and the sort of themes of the film. So eat my lunch is a great thematic partnership. They are all about, uh, they're not focused on, on so much on the poverty, they're, they're focused on dragging kids out of it. They're focused on doing good stuff. The solution. The solution. And, and I just love what they do. I like their approach. They're, they're, they're not a charity, they're a business, but they're doing, you know, that, that it's, it's, a great, it's a great service that they're offering. And I, and I, we've, we felt like they were a great partnership for the film, that what they do and their essence and their purpose is very aligned to the messages in this film. So, last question. You and Paolo have worked in the industry for a number of years. My understanding is that this is the first time you've worked in this partnership arrangement. Do you think you'll work together in this team format in future? Uh, well, no, that, it's not entirely correct because we did work, we, we produced a short, uh, we made a short film together. Um, feature films. So definitely for feature films. I mean, look, the truth of it is, the truth of it is in all honesty, I don't know. I don't know. I think, um, Paolo and I are, are, cl are very close friends. We met on the set as actors and we've been very close ever since. Yeah. And I love him dearly. And the truth, you know, is that this film has been really hard on our relationship. I feel like I'm married to him. <laughs> sometimes it feels Thank you like for that. your honesty. Yeah. Sometimes it feels like that. Yeah. But no, we've always tried to be honest. We've tried yes. to be transparent and honest about it. And it's been really hard. It's tested our friendship at, at, at times, you know. And, and, um, and at, you know... Fortunately, our friendship is intact, yes. and I'm really, and that is our priority. And I think, I mean, never, who knows? Maybe we will in the future. But I think it's really important that we both go a, away and do projects, yes. you know, with other people. And, and I, look, I hope we come back and find another project to do together in the future because it'd be wonderful. Because I love him dearly, and he's an amazing creative. But I can't, you know, and to be honest, that it's, it's, this business is hard, but doing it with no money is extremely hard, and it, you know. Also, micro budgets a young man's game. We're both married with several children and mortgages, and you know what I mean. It's uh, it's tough, so it's tested us. So apart from the testing, the reality is you've got something to show for it. It's winning awards. It's here at the Civic in the Auckland CBD after two years of wrapping. What do you want audiences to take away after having watched this film? Oh, look, I just want audiences to enjoy the film and experience it, however, whatever it means to them, it's, it's great. This film is about New Zealand and that's, you know, we, we wanted to make this film because it's got something to say. You know, we're parents uh, and, it, you know, this is, a, this is our kind of expression of what, what, it, what, it, what it's like to be a parent in New Zealand right now. So I think I want audiences to reflect on that. What, what does it mean for you, audience, to to live in New Zealand right now, to, to be a parent or, or indeed be a kid in New Zealand. I mean, that's, just have a look at, I hope that we're reflecting part of, you know, New Zealand society back, yep. back at audiences. I feel like we've done that, but I'm way too close to the film. So now, you know, let's let audiences tell us that. Well, thank you very much for chatting to us, Fraser Brown. It's your gift to us. And I guess uh, based on what you just said, we'll take away what we need to and hopefully be the solution in our worlds. So thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much. Great. Really appreciate your time. Thank yeah, you. Yeah.